Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the remap function, which is uh, pretty handy. So I'm just going to create a new composition just to demonstrate the problem. Um, I'm just going to create a null, not shape, a null object. And I'm just going to animate it. So I'm just going to hit P and move it here, keyframe the position, and then just draw like a little animation. It goes back this way, up and down. Okay, so if we use the timeline, we have this basic animation. Now, I'm just going to create a particle system. So I'm just going to create a solid, uh, let's make it like a grayish color, and I'm going to add. Oops, it's the wrong size. So if you have this kind of problem, just go to Layer, Solid Settings. Let's make it to full HD, 1920 by 1080, the size of the screen. Okay, now we can drop the particle system. It's under Simulation uh, Particle Systems 2, one of the standard plugins. So drop it, and we have this uh, particle system. Now, I want to attach the center of the particle system to the moving null. So usually you would uh, go to producer, and where it says position, you would alt stopwatch click the position. It basically gives you the opportunity to link it. So you take the pick whip tool and you drag it and drop it onto the nulls position that links it. Just click away, and so we basically linked the particle systems producer, which is basically the thing that spits particles, to the nulls position. And if we just go to physics and turn everything off, you should just see a straight line, which is more uh, useful. Okay, so that's great. Let's create a second uh, solid. And I'm just going to turn off the first one. Let's just call that uh, uh, systems2. And in this new particle system, in this new solid, I'm going to go to effect, simulation, particle world. Slightly different. And let's just name this world. Okay. Now you'll notice if you go to producer, uh, first off, the position XYZ is actually separated. If I move it, and it, it's very sensitive as well. And you'll notice it's not using the standard uh, coordinate system, which would be the basically the screen's pixels. That's zero, and that's 1920. And the top is y equals zero, and the bottom is 1080, because you know 1080p is 1920 by 1080. But this uh, this particular particle system uses like um, if I take this to the edge of the screen, okay, instead of zero, it's like point minus five, and if I take it to the end of the screen, instead of 1920, it's like point five. So if I was to link, if I try to link this, Alt Stopwatch click the X position and take the pick whip and link it to the nulls X position. You don't see anything because um, the particle system is expecting a value between negative 0.5 and 0.5 and we're orders of magnitude higher. So the particle system's like way off the screen. So how can we fix this? So this is where the linear function comes to help. So it basically creates like a variable. So this scary looking line is actually just the X position of the null. You can see null two, transform, position, zero. And if it was one, it'd be the Y position, and two would be the Z position. But let's just leave it at zero. So if I want to remap this, I literally just come to the beginning and I type linear, open the brackets, and this value is the x uh, position, so I just leave it as is, comma. And it's now, uh, it wants four values. So it's asking like, okay, so what range do you want? So I'm going to say 0 to 1920, uh, the kind of standard HD uh, width. And then it's going to ask me, okay, so, and then what was the old, uh, what are the values to map? And we know, I just showed you, a negative 0.5 to 0.5, the weird coordinate system, the particle system's using. And if I just close the bracket and put a little semicolon for good measure, and click away, it's now remapped uh, the horrible coordinate system to 
uh, values we can actually use. If I just go to physics again, turn off all the fancy stuff. Oh, actually, gravity was kind of nice. You can see it's following the null's uh, exposition. And you can see the weird grid moving. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, no one uses CC particle world. But I bet you it has a ton of hidden stuff. It's actually exactly the same as uh, Systems 2, but it has some extra options. But anyway, if you want to link the Y position as well, you can just take this whole line and uh, Alt, Stopwatch, click the position Y of the producer, paste it, and then just make that position value 1 to make it the Y coordinate, which goes up and down. And instead of 0 to 1920, we make this 1080 because, you know, the dimensions of HD are 1920 by 1080 pixels. If I hit it, it's kind of almost there. It just kind of has like some offset. And you can basically tweak the offset by tightening up the range. So you could just come back in and kind of make it 0.4 to 0.4, which is a bit of a cheat, but just so it stays inside the screen. And uh, there's definitely like a little offset value it needs, but overall, at least you can kind of control it uh, now, and it's not like way off somewhere else off the screen. And um, so that's it. That's basically, it's a very uh, powerful function, and you can use it to remap. Uh, like, it doesn't matter uh, which package you use, Cinema 40, Houdini, After Effects, like this, this remap the need to like map a range to another range is, is definitely going to come up again and again. So it's a very useful function.